Hello and welcome. This is a new kind of video. I just finished Assassin's Creed Valhalla's main storyline and I really wanted to talk a little bit about how the game's been kind of received in more of a negative light by fans, which I find is quite strange because there's so many great things about it. Now, I'm not here to defend all of its problems. I'm going to talk about a couple of problems because it does have problems. But with that said, I think it's doing a lot of things right. And, well, first, it's not the same game it was 10 years ago. And to be fair, if it didn't change, Assassin's Creed would probably have become a forgotten franchise at this point. I do feel it was the right call when they switched to the RPG style of Origins. Syndicate had left the franchise in a very bad place. The mechanics introduced in Syndicate really ruined the entire point of playing the game. Guns and zip lines are really the main culprits here. When they made the innovation going to Origins, it really was a breath of fresh air and just something new for the franchise, which I feel helped a lot. Another complaint I've heard is that the stealth mechanic is straight up broken. And, spoilers, it's true. Ubisoft has been moving away from its traditional stealth mechanics from its prior games in the series, and I don't think, personally, it's a step in the right direction. Which is to say, I just think they misstepped on the issue, and they just need to go back to the drawing board and figure out what they want to do and how to move forward in it. When we as fans sometimes overreact in these issues and just send them back to the old mechanics that worked, we don't get innovation, and... We just get the same old, same old, which then, in a couple games, becomes boring and passe. I personally would rather them take a few risks than rather just copy and paste everything. Which, to be fair, is already heavily done in this game. Now, let's talk about the elephant in the room. When it comes to the worst part of this game, it is definitely how glitchy it is. I've crashed to desktop many of times. Random NPCs just standing around in the middle of fights. Uh, maybe they're just in awe of how awesome I am, but I don't think that's the problem. I can't defend glitchiness. Also, other little things like when you rush into a castle or a fort and your guys are already inside fighting and you haven't unlocked the door yet, or the moment you unlock the door, you rush in and they're already there and you're like, man, why am I even why am I even here if you guys are doing all the work anyways? The craziest part about the whole thing is too, they even pushed it back a couple of months to polish the game. So could you imagine the broken mess we would have gotten then? The final complaint I'm gonna talk about today is that it's too long. And well, I'm kinda two schools. A thought on this if you have a great story to tell and you can do that in three four hours amazing the first uncharted is still one of my favorites because my old roommate and i could sit down in an afternoon and beat the story and it was like watching a movie and it was just fun but on the flip side of that coin if you want to tell a tale that spans multiple hours and there is a bunch of stuff to do, and don't mistake it, there is tons of stuff to do, and tons of different stuff. It's a lot of stuff, and sometimes it feels like you don't need to do all the stuff, which is kind of the point, I think. There's always going to be the people who want to complete 100%, and to be fair, I've done that with both Origins and Odyssey. You don't have to. You can just cruise right by. Now, some of the side quests will help you level up and get past certain locked areas by level, but that's just part of the game. Now, let's move on to the pros. Valhalla is beautiful. The landscape is really breathtaking. And while you're riding through or climbing up the mountainside, everything is really quite picturesque. And while you're enjoying all of these scenes, there's a fantastic story being told. 
I thought of it more like a TV show rather than a movie, with each area being like an episode. And while some episodes did feel like just kill NPC and pick who's going to be king, not all of them did, and, well, you kind of play Assassin's Creed to assassinate NPCs, so there's that. But it wasn't till the final moments of the campaign did I realize how much setup and how much care was put into the modern-day story, this trilogy. I have to say that this trilogy is probably the best modern day we've seen since the original. So, in my opinion, check that box for sure. They clearly do care about the modern day story at this moment. To be fair, they do need to finish the story up either in DLC or a following game. As they've introduced cool ideas before and resolved them in a comic book or a novel years later. So here's hoping the writing stays strong, but the game, as is, should be played. I think it is an absolute amazing option, and it is a great game. In closing, I can't defend the glitchiness of this game. They are prevalent throughout the entire experience that is Valhalla. Or maybe shoving microtransactions in a full-price game, but the latter could really be argued that it doesn't bother you, or if you like something, spend your money your way. But the game is strong. It's a great option. I'd highly recommend playing it. I'd recommend playing the whole trilogy if you are looking for something very large to sink your teeth in that you've never played before. Thank you so much, and I hope you like this. So please like, follow, subscribe. Thank you so much, and hope to see you around real soon.